first things first tech has failed on me oh look at how crusty <laughs> crusty those lips are but you know on this channel we make lemonade when we're given lemons so starting off this episode this is episode 29 I know my counting is just always off in the titles but bear with me we are in the i don't know if this is a finale or just before the finale but it's where Lincoln and bennett have just been sent home now the next episode after that one so moira and calvin are just a whole new mood a whole new mood i love their energy i love their chemistry it's like Calvin is so corny, honestly, and I love that Moira always, like, she just gasses him up. She hypes him up in such a positive way. Like, you know, we're usually, like, as chicks, we're like, the guy has to gas us up. He has to, like, hype us up. But, like, she, like, you know, she gives it. So, there you go, Faith, for saying um, Moira was not witty and she couldn't throw it back. She threw it right back. And here's my thing. I feel so bad that we are seeing this side of them so late in the game. I feel like either it's an editing thing or these guys took so long for them to come out of their shell and really be who they were. I love them. They look so good in love. I wish we would have seen this. And it could have happened like in episode 5, episode 6. But like of course we are dealing with the whole James and Moira drama. And Calvin was just too scared to step on people's toes. I understand that. I can't really blame him. But like look at how much time we've wasted y'all. We've wasted so much time and you guys are so perfect together. Like really? Really? I'm pissed. I'm the key pissed. But let's go on. Okay, so it's their final date. And in the morning, Sally gets an early morning text. And who, who, if not Sally, are we going to pick to make that announcement first thing in the morning? Like, that chick is such an early bird. I'm just like, I'm not there. But I want to chuck a pillow at her head. Because, because, why? Anywho, so Laurel and Carrington go out on a date. Of course they're driving a very fancy luxury car sports car ferrari and they're just having like brunch or something in the middle of the desert i find that like super romantic and all that jazz but then i'm like um can i drive if i were laurel i'd be like yeah um boy it's my turn like we'd drive half we go half half on the driving and they're just sitting there talking honestly that whole date i found like the conversation was dry for me was it meaningful to them probably but for me very dry i think laurel has to at some point assert herself in that relationship because she's with a very headstrong type of guy who is not is learning how to love and how to be comfortable with being himself and being around other people not only the guys right but the girls and he said he's very much selfish and i don't mean selfish in a bad way i just mean it like he just puts himself first right and she is just going to give 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 and she's gonna get tired so if that relationship is gonna work he's going to have to learn how to be a bit altruistic and he said that himself he wants to be that and she's gonna learn how to assert herself a bit more in my opinion do i see them working i do but with a lot of effort do i see lots of tears being shed yes and i honestly just hope and wish the best for them because like being in a relationship is all about growth and i think they're very capable of growing so that's why i say yes they're capable of making it work but after putting in a lot of work next up is justine and sally i'll be right back justine and caleb sorry justine and sally had their own little sister sister like hang out date at the balcony where they put their whole spill the tea and they're all talking about how they love each other and how they found each they found themselves 
they found their men and they found each other there and they couldn't have made the bold moves that they made or they needed to make if they didn't have their support so of course like i said i love i love their friendship and yeah girls need to have girlfriends and even guy friends need to have dates like that as well so anyways now it's up for justine and caleb and i gotta get to this so justine and caleb are going out on their date and it's a helicopter ride to the grand canyon west and it's so beautiful i love how they're freaking out in the helicopter and like honestly these guys just remind me of teenagers being in love or like you know when the moment you first realize that you like someone and they like you back and how it's just like you guys are friends you're having so much fun you're so giddy you're nervous you're feeling everything that is exactly how the whole right there and the whole date there was so they have like a picnic it's like they have a a mat a picnic mat and champagne and like little edibles like okay by edibles i just mean like finger foods so don't get it twisted and that is where caleb drops the album on her and like you can immediately see this cavein of hers pop out and when you see that vein pop out you know it's extreme emotion either extreme happiness or extreme anger one of the two right so like i'm just watching it and i'm watching him like like talk about I mean, I would. I was just not expecting how he, how he would drop the word, but then how he did it was so seamless and effortless, and he was so serious. And I was just like, I was looking at Justine. I could see the vein, but I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, how is she going to respond? And I honestly thought when she was responding she was going to be like yeah i don't want to put any pressure and i'm like okay here comes the thank you oh and i was like i'm not ready for that gut punch i'm not ready i'm not ready and then she's just like yeah i don't want to put any pressure but i love you too and oh i'm just like trying not to melt and trying not to scream and shout i love it this it feels so much i don't know it feels really really good and it feels so real. That's the thing. It feels so real. And that's how their date went. <sighs> it's like, is this reality or is this like a rom-com? I don't know. Okay. Moira and Calvin's date. Y'all. <sighs> there was a dinner date where they got all dressed up and they looked so beautiful together and they walked into this place where there was like an orchestra playing not really an orchestra i don't know if it was a trio or a quartet actually and they were playing classic music and there was seafood and champagne and they were just talking about how they make each other feel and the journey they've come thus far Oh, they started off being attracted, went their separate ways, came back as friends, and now they're in this place where it's all romantic again. And it was so sweet. And as I was watching it, honestly, like, I can feel myself, like, I feel a little bit hot. Because hot, you could see, like, their chemistry is there, their romance is there, their friendship is there. Those guys are so comfortable just being corny and goofy around each other but like the feels are there and honestly i like i like their relationship i wish they just got over themselves and and just saw each other the way they see each other now but i guess that's where the beauty comes in in that love takes time and romance takes time and maybe they felt rushed and felt they had to be people that they weren't or they had to do things that they they didn't in terms of like the speed or in terms of maybe the types of conversation that they needed to have maybe they just felt like it was forced but now that it's flowing so nice. So anywho, they have plans to try and make it work. 
in the outside world and they're just a beautiful couple they look so lovely i love their smiles and it might seem so superficial but i feel like sometimes the soul radiates through your smile and like they both smile their smiles shine and i'm just like ah, i'm happy honestly I'm, I'm really 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 happy surprisingly this i think is the one that's going to top it all for me and it's surprising i thought justine and caleb's one not to try and compare but like i can genuinely genuinely feel the feels and the emotions and they're just like a sexy couple together they really they really really are and i wish them the best of luck i can't wait to follow them later on and see what they get up to and I love it. So before we finally wrap things up, it's Sally and Johnny. They get the last date and they go to like a sold out show. And basically when they get into the theater, it's like more like an amphitheater. It's just like empty. And right on the stage is this really nice setup for them. And it's like glass of red wine and of course some finger foods for them to eat and right before they they sit down and then the johnny gets to give a toast and all that jazz and right before the the able to finish the conversation there's like a show where they're i don't even know what kind of show that is it's not like it's like contemporary dance oh sorry y'all contemporary dance and it's so beautiful and everything anywho they have this whole conversation about their relationship how they've far they've come the feelings that they've had how when they knew they were falling for each other when they were in love and it's always nice to go back to those moments where you recount the moment you either told your person or your person told you when they were in love with you and even before that the moment you realize in your mind before you actually told them so i like their conversation of course there's always the whole kasamor situation there's rumors outside swirling about johnny i've had my old red flags brought up with johnny and i think whether it's a real or imagined i feel like they might actually have something special and I'm beginning to think that it's actually real, right? I think whether Johnny came in with ulterior motives or not, whether Johnny, whatever happened in Kasamor, he made his mistakes in Kasamor there, and what his intentions were with Mercedes or other women in Kasamor, and as rumors will come out obviously i'm going to believe some of the things because they they were facts they happened but i'm not going to say that because those things happened he doesn't have feelings for sally and he hasn't learned from mistakes he hasn't changed he hasn't become a different man and he hasn't grown to love her i i truly truly believe that as much as I don't want to, I truly, truly, I'm not blind to what I'm seeing and to what I'm feeling, the vibe that I'm getting from them. I obviously hope that it can work out. You know, I've been pushing Benny on Sally. I've been pushing them to break up because I just didn't like what I see or I thought he was and I still do think yes he is possessive yes he is immature yes he is selfish yes he does have ulterior motives because of how he acted with Mercedes but I and this is not just so that Sally can be with someone this is just because like if a relationship is real if love is real and if people have grown from their mistakes I think you should just like forgive and forget and put things in the past and I honestly, hopefully hope that they can make their relationship work, honestly. 
I really, they, when I look at them and they're smiling and they just look like these people when they were babies, they were so pure hearted, so full of joy, so curious about the world and all that. I can't not look at them and think of all that they have been and all that they could be in a positive way. So maybe that's the optis optimist in me. And I honestly think that they would be a good couple together. Are they going to last? It's a question that only they can answer. But I think they can make it work. Imagine y'all. Imagine. I do think so. Yeah, so the dates are finally over. It's their final night. Everyone is in a different mood. Like, I think it's bittersweet. But I love how everyone has come out of their shell. Moira, y'all, was twerking at the end of this. Like... Who is she? Where has she been all this time? That is what we want. That is who we love. So, oh, it's going to be the last episode tonight. And best believe I'm going to be covering that. So, I don't even know how to think, what to say, how to feel. But I loved this. I enjoyed this. I'm going to be sad to see the final episode. Because I loved watching these guys. And I loved covering Ah, recaps and commentaries but that's it from me today i don't want to get too emotional up here and for what for what anyways until this to tonight i will see you then peace